All right, here it is. I've been waiting a while for this baby. Let's get inside. Nice cardboard. Heck yeah. Let's see what we got here. Oh wow. All the tchotchkes. Look at that. Got the sticker. Oh my god. Now that is a comic book right there. What else do we got in here? Let's take a look. Plastic and board, baby. Just for the tchotchkes. That's right, man. This right here. It's number one. Independent comic book crowdfunded baby. It's the frog cyber frog Let's just check these tchotchkes out Sick Oh, you can never lose your lose your spot while reading the blood honey we Got the sticker right there Wow That shit is tight as fuck Cool stick that one on the back of the car What do we got here right here? Come here, come here, come here. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. This is going to be sick. I don't know. I might have to wait till later for these. Open these up. For now, let's check this one out. My first comic book review. Thought I would pick the book Cyber Frog. It's a pretty worthy book. I have to admit, I've never read Cyber Frog, so I'm going into new territory here. This book right here, just right off the bat, it's got an awesome presentation. I believe it's a foil style imprint actually has a uh, side from the uh, creator signature on top and uh, you can actually probably get it drawn on at cons that's a cool feature to add to the book uh, this book does start off in the 90s so it's kind of cool yeah right there my Ethan Van Skyver colored by Carl Ritter awesome yeah, look at that. So basically, there's an alien life form that sends uh, two of its um, babies to become world protectors, to bond with new life forms on different planets, kind of like um, Venom or Superman. And they, uh, I think they're supposed to basically meet with like a human life form, but they ended up bonding with a, uh, from my understanding, a um, a frog and a salamander. Hence, Cyber Frog and his brother Salamandroid. Um, what I really liked about this scene right here in the book, um, there's this little part where he activates its armor and kind of goes into this like Iron Man esque or cyborg type scene. Gets to show some of his weaponry. It's really really cool. Um, yeah, I guess through the, throughout the story, he meets a girl named Heather. And uh, they become friends, and <laughs> she um, she gets some fried chicken. Uh, that's hilarious. I love fried chicken. Um, this book's got a cool amount of horror in it too. Let's talk about the horror. Um, later you come to find out about this impending uh, alien wasp invasion. From my understanding, the they're called the Vespis, and um, they just look really really cool. Um, if I could show you some of them, they have these hives, and um. They basically turn humans into uh, these food sources that they feed off of, and uh, they turn them into this honey. And I've never seen that before. It's pretty, it's pretty original. It's like a golden gore. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, something like Cronenberg out of the Fly. No, the horror is pretty. It's pretty brutal in here. I wasn't expecting that for it to be that way. It looks really cool. It's right up my, uh, right up my alley. The art is phenomenal. Um, it's fun to look at. It makes you feel like you're watching a movie. The design, the design of a cyber frog and salamandroid, it draws you in, and um, a lot of the details and reflection on the armor, it just looks really cool. Let's see if I can find another one. Oh wow! Don't want to show too much. I want to give it all away. Oh wow! Look at that. Okay. Oh wow! Look at that. 
Jeez. Summon through it. There's just this one spot that's just so epic in here. I believe it's this one. That right there just makes you feel like you're in a movie. Just look at that. I've never really seen any golden hives. It's just like a whole golden world of alien infestation. Yeah. The, this whole package right here, just it, br it brings you back to like being a kid from the 90s. The cards, the stickers, the cool mementos. It's like buried from the past and like pulled out of like a time capsule. It had a fun um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle feel to it. My only complaint is that it was too short, but I guess that's a, that's a good thing. Yeah, it reminded me a lot of things that I like, you know, like Venom, Spawn, Superman, Saturday morning cartoons, and even the things like Predator. Yeah, all in all, a great book and a, and a fun throwback. Triggers uh, deep cuts. I definitely uh, give this book two horns up. All right, guys. See you next time. Have a great day.